think about for a second flying a glider, right? If you're in a glider and you stall a glider, you could recover the glider from a stall despite the fact that the glider has no thrust, right? So what does that tell you about thrust needed to recover from a stall? You don't need any. Yeah, so thrust is, is uh, utilized for altitude loss minimalization. It is not utilized, however, for stall recovery necessary. It's not the basis from which we actually recover. So um, when we get the stick shaker, that'll be the, uh, the initiation of the recovery as mentioned. Autopilot off, auto throttle off, lower the nose, smoothly apply thrust, and then stow speed brake. That's pretty much what you're looking for. All right, any questions on that so far? You have the benefit of having a flight path vector, which I think you have it on, right? See the little bird there, or FPA, FPV. Okay, so you got your flight path vector on. So that's basically telling me where the airplane's going in space. Not where it's pointed. That's a pitch attitude. Where it's actually going. And the objective in the stall recovery is to take the pitch attitude, which is the wings, and align it with where the airplane is actually going, which is the flight path vector. So right now you can see the flight path vector is level on the horizon, because we're level on the horizon. And in order to attain that, we're actually at a slightly nose high pitch attitude. So when we recover from the stall, which you're gonna have the stick shaker go off at an approximate 12 and a half degrees nose up pitch attitude, what you're gonna do is you're gonna disconnect as mentioned autopilot auto throttle, lower the nose, and you're gonna to try to bring the pitch symbol down towards the FPB or the flight path vector to better align the pitch of the plane to where it's truly going in space. And what you're gonna find is the flight path vector will be below you Keep in mind, these are approach to stalls. These are not full stalls. Okay. Approach to stall is different. Approach to stall is, hey, the airplane's actually still producing the wings, specifically the airfoils are producing lift still, validated by the fact that the VSI is still on zero at the time of the stick shaker occurrence. So you're not really fully stalled. We could, in EET or UPRT training, we do practice full stalls, which is basically, by definition, full aft stick, full aft control column for at least two seconds with inability to maintain altitude. So we don't take it to that degree in the format that we're training it here because this is not an EET nor a UPRT session, but uh, that's what you would expect in those events. All right, so any questions on that? Thank you.